Hi guys, Nick from Mitchell Race Extreme, Waikato, New Zealand. Thought I'd give a bit of a run through on our adjustable sway bar setups we, we manufacture here at MRX. Uh, what we've got here is a twin blade setup that we have produced for a S chassis drift car out of Australia. The twin blade setup's not our typical setup, but hey, that's what we're going to so that's what we're going to do. Usually what we'll have is a single blade on one end, and then through our chrome molly tube, we'll have a fixed chrome molly leg. But this time, twin blade. And what we've done is done twin cables, so with our MRX control unit here, one, one control lever will run one of the blades here. Typically, again, you might have, on a, on a, usually on a single blade setup, one control will run, operate the front sway bar and the other control will run the rear sway bar. They hit, obviously, two cables, two blades, one dual control unit. Here we have our, via our Morse cables, we've got our blades running through our, from full hard to full soft. Running the twin blade setup just allows a larger window with your, from your full soft to full hard. That, that's, the, that's the benefit there and fine, more fine tuning. But I guess with, uh, with the alternative with being a single blade, it's also a cost. So you know, two blades, the cost goes up. So that, yeah, that's why we typically don't do it. So over, over here are a couple of our components. So our billet sway bar block which will house our uh, nylon bushings in two sizes, inch and a quarter and inch and a half. Both, both bushings fit in the same block. We also have our inch and a quarter and inch and a half side clamps. So this just, these clamp around the chrome molly tube and just stop that lateral movement. Sway bar boss, again, this what, so it's just a greased unit, so high tent grease, which is what our blade swivels in. And then our end bosses. So again, on our typical bars, we would have a fixed leg here with a chromoly tube. This would be an end boss that would be welded in. Usually on a rear sway bar, we'll run an inch and a quarter diameter tube, which would have the inch and a quarter end boss. Front bar on a heavier bar, inch and a half OD, is an inch and a half boss. So when we get asked about our kits, this is usually what it'll entail. We'll supply the kits as as this with the necessary blocks and bushings. A lot of guys will source their own chrome molly. This saves me having to set freight it out. So it's easier to set, send the kit. You guys can do your own fabrication and have your have it mounted in your in your car yourself. Or as the guys in Darwin have done asked me to do, we've fabricated the bar complete, run through the test. Now what we'll do, we'll package it up and get on the courier and get it sent over. So yeah, thank you. Cheers.